The numbers are very high, but the distribution is very skewed, as is true in, in other prestigious professions. Uh, in law schools now, I believe that at most schools and, and across the law student population generally, women are at least 50 percent of the student body, if not higher. We're also so well represented at the faculty level that I lose count, you know, and that's great when you no longer have to have to count, as opposed to my seven years of higher education at Harvard College and Law School where I had not a single female professor at either the law school or the college, and I was painfully aware of the number of female students in both places. I, I w went to Harvard College when women students were separately admitted under a strict four to one ratio, men to women, and at the law school at the time we were about 10 percent of the student body. So that has changed dramatically. Um, a lot of barriers have been crashed. It was uh, not until 1981 that we had the first female Supreme Court justice. Um, but those numbers are still very small, and Justice Ginsburg is now complaining about, with you know, with force and reason, about being the token female member of the Supreme Court. And we know the judges, and um, um, I'd say in politics, women are particularly underrepresented, and in the corporate world, particularly underrepresented. I think we're doing quite well on law faculties and as law school deans.